environmental preservation should be prioritized over economic growth simply because there can be no economic growth without environmental preservation. The environment and education are two important pillars of the JPS Foundation and it's through these pillars that we do our work. It is very fitting that the Little Genius Competition will be focusing on the environment. If you believe that we should have economic growth over environment, you are truly the brainwash one. My opponent, the soap that you're wearing, did you steal it or did you buy it? Remember, the environment cannot be preserved without economic growth. The environment is so dear to us that we ensure that we support the planting of trees, the care of trees, cutting them away from our power lines. We are the first organization to have adopted a mangrove in the NEPA's Adopt a Mangrove program initiative. We have adopted the Sturridge Park plot along the Palisades. And we were so happy to support the Forestry Department's National School Tree Planting Competition where we saw our primary school students, our high school students, planting over 400 trees amidst a drought. Come on, let's give a round of applause for our students. When you hear the care and the dedication that they give to preserving our environment, it's heartwarming. When we have a clean environment, when we have fresh air, when we have clean surroundings, it contributes to our overall well-being. Would you imagine if we switch to a green economy? This is something our JPS is pushing. If we don't save our environment, there won't be an economy to talk about. When we start to encourage the care and the deliberate focus on the environment from our children, then we know that our future will be in good hands. How will we have high production rate without the environment? Ha ha ha, love for love. You plan to do space planting? If we prioritize environmental preservation over economic growth, we'll have food. But tell me, can you go into the supermarket and just grab the food without paying? You need to pay the money. And if you are poor, how will you get the food? And if you don't have food, won't you die? Pretty prophecy states, when the last tree is cut down, the last fish is eaten, the stream poisoned, you will realize that we cannot eat money. I rest my case. On behalf of the JPS Foundation, congratulations, next step. Congratulations, little geniuses. And congratulations and applause to our parents.